Henry VIII and his six wives. Henry is one of the famous king in England who is best known for his several marriages. Henry VIII at the age of 17 ascended the throne of England and six weeks later he married to Catherine Aragon who was widow of his own elder brother Prince Arthur. At the age of three Catherine was engaged with Prince Arthur and married in 1501. But after six months, Arthur died, and a few years later, Henry VIII married Catherine in 1511 June to continue Spanish consistency and to hang on to her dowry. Catherine was well educated, with a beautiful and perfect match for Henry. Catherine became pregnant several times, but she failed to give birth a male child. Mary I was only daughter of them. But King Henry was not happy because Mary I was not male child as his successor. And Henry started to lose his interest on his first wife, Catherine Aragon. Henry was very upset and started to wonder that they were not having a son because he married to his brother's wife. Henry decided to divorce Catherine, but divorce was not allowed in Catholic Church. And at that time, Pope Clement VII was the head of the Catholic Church, who refused Henry, and as his turn, King Henry severed all ties with Roman Catholic Church and divorced Catherine Aragon in 1533, 23rd May. Henry had an affair with Annie even before he divorced Catherine. Henry had alleged relationships with many women. Even he had an illegitimate son, Henry Fitzroy, with Elizabeth Blount, who was maid of honor of his first wife, Catherine Aragon. Annie Boleyn, second wife of Henry VIII. In January 1533, Henry and Annie secretly married. They had been in a relationship for a long time, but Annie refused to marry Henry. But Henry was determined to marry her. Annie Boleyn, daughter of Thomas Boleyn and Elizabeth Boleyn. Annie was well-educated, charming, sophisticated, elegant, stylish, courtier, and intelligent woman. Annie was involved with many international and political activities. Annie served in the court and other European royals. But Annie was failed to give birth a male child. She bore a female child, Elizabeth I, future Queen of England. Henry get annoyed by Annie. Once Annie was accused of adultery relationship with male member of her court, but historians believed that this allegation against Annie were not true. It was Henry's deception only. Actually, Henry wanted to remove Annie Boleyn that he could remarry. Henry divorced to Annie Boleyn on 17 May 1536, and just after two days, Boleyn was sent to Tower of London where she was beheaded by a French swordsman in 19th May 1536. After this, declared that Elizabeth won an Ill illegitimate child and removed her from the line of successor, but later Parliament restored her. Jane Seymour, third wife of Henry VIII, daughter of Sir John Seymour and Mangry Wentworth. Henry married Jane in 13th May 1536. Jane Seymour was not well educated, but she was expert in household tasks and other activities. She was maid of honor of Henry's first and second wife, Catherine Aragon and Annie Boleyn. Jane Seymour was the only one who provided Henry a male child, Edward VI, in 1537, 12th January. But Jane did not live long. After giving birth, she was suffering from blood poisoning and she died 24th October 1537. Henry took the death of his third wife very hard. She waited until 1540 to remarry. Anne Cleves, fourth wife of Henry, daughter of John III, the Duke of Cleve, and Maria of Julich. After Jane Seymour, Henry married to Anne Cleve in 6 January 1540, but their marriage was a political marriage only between England and Germany. Annie was not so beautiful and she is known as the ugly wife of Henry VIII. But after six months of their marriage, Henry found political alliances and no longer to be his advantage, so divorced his fourth wife Annie Cleve the same year in 9th July 1540. Annie died 
6th January in 1557. Catherine Howard, fifth wife of Henry. After three weeks of Henry and Anne's divorce, Henry married to Catherine Howard in 28th July 1540. Catherine Howard, daughter of Lord Edmund Howard and Joyce Culpeper, and cousin sister of Annie Boleyn and niece of Thomas Howard. Thomas Howard, who was the prominent politician of Henry's court, Catherine was a maid of honor of Henry's fourth wife, Annie Cleves. Catherine decided to marry Thomas Culpeper, who was a distant cousin of her and Henry's favorite male courtier. But Catherine was forced by her family to marry Henry VIII. Catherine was very younger than Henry. She was 17 and Henry was 49. Henry and Catherine Howard married in 1540, 28 July. Catherine had a relationship with Thomas Culpeper even after she got married. And one day, a love letter written by Catherine was found in Thomas's drawer and it was conveyed to the King Henry. And King declared to beheaded the Queen and expelled Thomas from the court. Catherine Howard was beheaded in 13th February 1542 and her last words were, I die a queen, but I would rather die the wife of Culpeper. Catherine Purr, Henry's sixth and last wife. Catherine Purr, daughter of Thomas Purr and Maud Green. Catherine Purr was maid of honor of Princess Mary I. Catherine was well-educated, intelligent, and attractive woman, a sensible choice for King Henry. But Catherine had already been married so many times. Her first marriage with Edmund Burr in 1529, second marriage with John Neville in 1534, third marriage Henry VIII, 12th July in 1543. Catherine was the first English queen who wrote a book by herself and published by her own name. In 14, 1545, published her first book, Prayers or Meditation. In English language, later her stepdaughter Elizabeth translated it into Latin, French, and Italian language. Catherine Purr was Henry's last and final wife. She persuaded Henry to put his daughters Mary I and Elizabeth into success's list. She was very responsible stepmom of Henry's child. Catherine encouraged Elizabeth I in her education, but Henry and Catherine had no child. Henry did, died at the age of 55 on 28 June 1547. Then his nine years old son, Edward VI, succeeded him. After Henry's death, Catherine married Thomas Seymour in 1547, brother of Jane Seymour. But their marriage was short-lived. Catherine died due to complications of childbirth on Wednesday, 5th September 1548 AD. So that's all about today.